you're following the Movement Collective page, it's likely you are interested in body weight training and you've probably seen a bunch of stuff on the rinks. You've seen muscle ups, you've probably seen German hang, skin the cats, all these different types of exercises, ring dips, ring rows, pull ups, chin ups. I'm gonna show you something a little bit different today, it's called the meat hook. The final version looks like this, I'm gonna demonstrate it right now and I'm gonna show you a bunch of progressions to lead towards this amazing move. So that's the full version. I'm gonna show you a few progressions now using the rings at a little bit lower height. And I'm also gonna show you some accessory work that's gonna be super helpful to build the strength and awareness to develop that full position. You're gonna drop down to the ground. The rings are about chest height, just here. So you're gonna drop down to the ground, holding on to both rings, and decide which hand you're gonna to go to. I'm gonna to go to my right hand side and just demonstrate this one today, but definitely practice both sides. You're gonna have one side that's stronger than the other, but don't forget about the weaker side. You wanna build that one up as well. So I'm going to my right hand, which means I'm going to lift my opposite leg. So my left leg is going to lift up. And this version, we're gonna be using the support of both hands and both feet, just to get used to the position, because it's real twisty and it feels kind of weird on the body. So we're gonna lift that leg up. And from here, we're gonna pivot. If you just have a look at my right foot, I pivot on my right foot, because I'm gonna to turn to face behind me. So my hips are facing this way, using that pivot and that leg coming, cutting across the body, I'm gonna find both feet on the ground. And from here, I'm gonna to try to lift my hips up as high as possible. You wanna to try to make that connection with the opposite hip to the elbow. And again, you might need to work on some mobility work. If you can't find that position, you might need to work on some mobility to try to find that position. All right, so we go up and over, rotate and find this position here. So I'm supporting myself with mostly my right arm. The left arm is here mostly for balance. You can see that there's a bit of slack in this left ring. The right ring is fully um, pulled tight. And I'm just spending some time here. Conditioning the shoulder, conditioning the lats, and that side of the body, that twist. Whew, that one's even hard. Now for the next progression, I've just lifted the rings up just a little bit higher. Because what we're going to do for this one is use the same technique, similar setup. We're going to pivot and turn, but we're going to keep one foot lifted off the ground. I find this one easier because the rings are set a little bit higher to get that connection with that elbow and that opposite hip. So one foot's off the ground, which means that I need to create more strength and support with this right arm, with this arm a little bit, and then also the foot on the ground. So we're starting to load up one arm gradually by removing one of our supports, which is this leg here. So again, get conditioned into that side. We'll do it the other side as well, making sure we're practicing both sides. And then we're ready for the next progression. To work on taking both legs off the ground. So again, the same setup, we rotate, turn, and then from here, we're going to pull this leg in and try to pick the other leg off the ground. You can do this for a few seconds at a time. You might wanna just keep that foot close to the ground and do these toe taps in the in the one arm handstand work, we do these dialing the phone or these finger taps. It's a very similar thing. And what we're doing with that and with this is just providing enough support, enough balance that we can start to load up that arm. And if we need it, it's kind of that safety mechanisms there to put the foot back on the ground if we need it. So we're not doing it jumping into the high rings and we don't have that safety or support, especially in those early stages. You want to be nice and comfortable. Again, this is kind of a funny position. We're twisting across the body, this big diagonal. So you want to make sure that you're feeling really strong and stable in each one of these progressions before you move on. Once you're feeling really confident in that bent leg position, we're going to try to straighten them out. And this will kind of simulate what the full position looks like once you get there. So we went here. What you're going to do is bring the legs together and then pull them down into the ground and holding this position here. What you're trying to do is compress as much as possible. Again, taking that elbow across the body. But now we're looking at this compression. Once we release the other hand, we can actually use this hand to pull ourselves in into like more of like a pike fold. And we can use that hand to leverage that compression, to keeping us nice and tight. So that's all the progressions for the two arm meat hook. The full version is with one arm. So now we're gonna look at transferring the weight from this ring here. Like I was saying earlier, 
actually this ring, you can see that there's a bit of slack in it. So it's really just kind of used for balance. You can kind of pull into it if you need to. But what we're gonna do now is slowly start to release this hand. I'll just show you that here. We go here, find that position. We're gonna come up, Whoop. rotating heaps. And then from here, keeping that connection with the elbow on the hip, we're gonna slowly start to let go of this. What I would do is maybe keep the hand close to the ring if you need to grab it. And then over time you get more confident with it, you can start to take it off and then eventually grabbing and pulling into that compression. Once you've spent plenty of time with that one arm off, and you can actually take it away from the ring, maybe put it onto the leg and work on that compression, you're ready to try it out in the open. It's way better out here, you can see that I was twisting and stuff in here close to the rig. It's better to have a set of rings that's kind of uh, doesn't have any obstructions, so this is perfect. The first progression out here is it using both arms to get to the top. So for this one, you're gonna to need to be able to do a leg raise like this, or a toes to bar. We're gonna use both hands, we're gonna pick our feet up, and we're gonna take our feet to the side. So I'm gonna to go to the right hand side again. As I lift, I like to do it in straddle. Actually doing it in pike position like this is a lot harder. And I actually don't have that in that um, one arm variation just yet. So I use a straddle to get into it. But know that you can actually do it with straight legs as well, legs together. So from here, legs are straddle. We're gonna lift to one side, right hand side. Pull with both arms, compress, leg raise. Opposite elbow to hip, and we're gonna find this position. If it's feeling okay, we can start to let go of the ring. Out here, and then eventually here. You wanna grab the ring to come back down. All right, once you've got that, the next variation is using two hands to get up. And then once you're here, you're going to straddle and come out of it one-handed. Once you've got that, that leads us to that one-arm pull and straddle. Up and over into this position here, compressing as much as you can. And then we straddle to come out. That's the one-arm meat hook. To get to that final level, if you've done all the progressions and you feel like there's some weak areas, you might need to do some accessory work. So what I would suggest is to get your toes to bar on the bar and on the rings with straight arms and straight legs down so it's super easy. You also want to work on single arm. So pulling from here all the way to the top. Multiple reps so it's feeling really comfortable. So you're gonna work on active hangs with two arms and also one arm. You wanna have really strong scapula, you wanna build that grip strength to be able to support yourself with one arm in both that meat hook position and also pulling into it for that toes to bar. So you can work on this here, single arm, active hangs. I hope that video was super helpful and let me know if you've got any questions on any of the progressions or if you get stuck with any of them. Leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you want to train with us, we've got the TMC Move Pro app. We've got tons of workouts and programs on there. Check it out.